Hello everyone, welcome back. I am your host Vinay Joshi. Today we are creating a, a pulse oximeter by using Max10302 chip. So let's get started. C3 Zio chip, a microcontroller which is compatible with the Arduino board and you can program it through Arduino as well and MicroPython as well. I am using it because it's very small, compact. Our next hardware is a OLED display which is a 128 by 32 in size. It's used for displaying any content uh, from uh, using coding. And our third and main hardware is the health sensor which is max 30102 heart rate and pulse oximeter sensor which is used to read a reading from your finger to uh, your heart and the oxygen level of your body. Let's build the circuit of these all of the devices so that we, they can communicate with each other. I'm taking a breadboard which is adding uh, with the Zio chip and the OLED display. And then add a Max 1002 sensor so that we can read the sensor uh, data and show that sensor data to over display so I'm taking some jumper wire and I want to connect those jumper wire with the specific um, ports you can say pins and they, we do have four pins over uh, this max 10302 chip uh, one I am adding uh, the jumper wire first to the Max 10302 chip. Yellow for SCL, red for VCC, orange for SDA, and brown for ground. So then connect uh, the uh, pulse sensor with the our CD Studio Zio microcontroller for three volt pin. To a VCC and the orange uh, red pin to give to the VCC to display as well and other display wires which is VCC SDA SCL and the ground pin let me finish the all jumper wire connection and so that we can start uh, work further uh, with the coding part so let's upload the code to uh, our microcontroller seed studio using Arduino IDE and I am uh, uploading the code using by click upload button. I will share this code uh, with my Git repository and the link of Git repository you can find over the description. You can copy paste it. You can connect the board and pins uh, from uh, Arduino so that you can uh, connect with the Arduino using a COM component which is a USB based thing and just hit on upload and it will uh, upload your code directly to the microcontroller and you can see the execution part over there so let's see the execution uh, in action I uploaded the code over the uh, microcontroller and you can see the display showing the heart rate and SpO2 value minus 999 if no finger over there but whenever I'm uh, adding the finger so it's giving me heart rate and the SpO2 value which is uh, oxygen value uh, for uh, my uh, finger and you can say my body I am not able to find the spring uh, to what is used on this part so I 3D printed the spring as well in my 3D printer Ender 3 S1 Pro. Before that I designed a STL file in Onshape. You can find the, all the STL link in the description which is our part of blog but yeah if you want a spring uh, STL file you can directly go to the Onshape library and uh, get my STL file or you can design it or modify it same as per your own. printed a part uh, enclosed part for these electronics so that they can look good and we can use this as uh, whatever we want in a proper way here's my part printed completely and uh, before it, I need to clean up the, all the parts so I do have uh, some techniques to do it so let me fast forward my video 
that it will not take much time to you to look all the process. start the assembly of all of the part which we 3D printed. First I need to clear them with my gas lighter so that all the feather which is comes along with the 3D printing that will be removed and our 3D printed case looks very shiny and fine. I do that for all of the part and then remove all of the part from my breadboard and adding to fit over those. I am assembling the all part which is uh, which we need to be add over the um, screw, uppercase, lowercase and the uh, fitting the microcontroller with the sensor within the enclosure so that it will work perfectly. Display is on our top, uh, we will fit that and uh, within those we are adding wires so that we can communicate with each other uh, module and send the data between. In future I will be adding the battery over it so that it will be only run with the battery only. So this is our final uh, product and uh, here you can see all the components are merged together. I need just need to be fix the wire between the sensor and the microcontroller so that it can work well. And I do have one comparison between this uh, module and with the our my Samsung uh, watch, which is showing the oxygen level and heart rate sensor as well. So here you can see the, uh, my Samsung watch is giving the same reading, but whatever the reading it's giving given by our oximeter. If you are able to make till now, so thank you for joining with me. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. I'm really thankful for you. Thank you.